all right so i push this changes to module 4 here which you can see right and uh, what i have given this name as a before specification pattern so that you can guys you know can compare this uh, iteratively like uh, what are the changes which we have been doing for this specification pattern how this is different from uh, you know that uh, general if else kind of ladder which we generally used to have and let's say you like to apply uh, a search for search by brand search by type search by name and let's say search by brand and type itself like to so this kind of combinations we used to have you know uh, rely on the if else ladder and uh, but the best thing is like with the specification pattern in place right so what we can uh, do is we can define a specifications for each of the search criteria in repository interface itself and we can use this specification in our service layer to dynamically construct queries based on the provided search criteria itself so this is what we are going to see that and let's come to this place itself and um, now this is that i'm uh, right now into that intellij itself and what i'm just going to do here is i'll just come to that product repository and uh, with that product repository which i am going to come here right uh, and one second let me just open this that product repository where exactly it is and this is your product repository of course and sometimes uh, things are there but you not able to see that anyways uh, just avoid that so here what we need to do is uh, we need to extend the same right so what we can do is first of all uh, we need to extend based on this page itself right and this is what we are just going to uh, make use of that and um, and we need to extend this find all functionality and that needs to support page and of course the specification as well so that is what we are just going to have here and that is going to return me a uh, product itself and let's import this page and let's give it the name itself like find all and we should be having this and find all and now in this particular interface which we are implementing right so we need to have some kind of uh, specification in place and this specification should be uh, coming from our jpa domain itself which you can see here right and uh, this is what we need to you know uh, rely on right and a specification for the product which we need to uh, which is going to come here and uh, this is what uh, this is going to be let's say uh, let's call this as an spec because this is the spec which we are going to supply in and based on that uh, this is going to you know build the criteria and you know, uh, dynamically uh, do the query part right so and the next is the pageable thing which we need to have this so by default uh, this find all is not uh, supporting this because that's that is the reason why we are extending this right because uh, in this case we are uh, also uh, taking the specification pattern in place right so that's why i have taken this particular stuff into this in its own uh, repository product repository which we are going to you know utilize that one right and uh, once this is done so uh, the other things uh, which is going to be like the specifications and the specification which we are going to have here is for the product and uh, let's say search by name containing and i just say search by name containing kind of, i mean you just need to be more pragmatic right so this is uh, something which you can think of and uh, in this case like you just need to supply this a string and let's say keyword that's it so this is your first specification then uh, what we could do is like let's say another specification which i can think of is like let's say i need to return a product right based on based on what find by brand id probably uh, so let's say find by brand id um, and based on that we can have taken that as an integer uh, let's say brand id and um, now what we can have is like uh, find by type id i can what i can do is like i can just simply copy paste 
and this is also going to return me uh, product itself but this time this is going to be the type id right and this makes sense and uh, instead of that we can have just this is a type id and um, what else like um, now uh, let's say find by brand and type itself right and um, that is what we are just going to have in here right and uh, uh, so for that uh, we are going to have something like this right so we can have this uh, specification in place and again this is going to return as the product so this is the combination for a uh, brand and type right so let's say find by brand brand and uh, type probably and in this case we are just going to have this integer uh, brand brand id and integer type id right and this is it right so what we have done is so our specification is ready now what we need to do here is right so we just need to go ahead and implement this right and um, into our service layer itself right so let's go and uh, implement the same into the next video itself